Hey everyone, welcome to Let's Boy Coding. Today, we are going to solve problem 706, design a hash map. And we can see this is a commonly asked interview question. Although this is a easy level question, this is of important computer science fundamental. So let's see the problem. We need to design a hash map that support put or insert get or search and removal. Yes, this is the setup. Okay, first, let's go over our algorithm. First, we need to implement the hash function. The hash function need to map an input to a specific size. And then how we do it? data. We use Python's built-in hash function. It converts the data to an integer. We need to mod it by a size. And let's assume our hash table has a length of 100. OK, for insertion, we use hash function to find the block and then insert on linked list. For removal, we use hash function to find the block and then remove on linked list. And for search, um, we use hash function to find the block and then we find an element in linked list. So first, let's visualize our hash function very quickly. So let's try print A. So this is the hash number. And if we, if we multiply 10, it is 4. Let's try to hash another piece of data. So this is the hash number. And if we mod it by 10, it is um, 4. So no matter how long the hash output, if we use a mod operator, then the length is always in 0 or 10. Now let's visualize our procedure in the hash map first. Um, so first, we initialize an array of size 8. And then if we want to insert a3, the a is the key and 3 is as a value, or we just hash the A and find a block called, um, let's say, a zero. And we attach a linked list. We put A and three. And if we insert B eight, we hash B and then we find a block, let's say three. we insert B8 and let's, let's insert C10. If the hash function also map it to a zero, we just need to append it to the end of the linked list. C10. Okay, if we want to search the key A, we just need to hash A and find it a block a zero and we just traverse the linked list and we see in the first block the key is a we return the value three and for the removal if we want to remove if we also want to remove a then we just hash a and find it in a, a zero block and we traverse the linked list we attach the 
arrow, we change the pointer of the head node to the next node. Yes, so now A3 is removed. This, this is the basic operation. Now let's code it. Okay, so let's code it. First, we need to create a node. Then let's first implement put. So we need to get the current block using our hash function. If the current block is none, then we just create a new node. Key value and then otherwise we get the current the current block and then we iterate over a linked list so for example in this case we want to insert a and three we just put a node and the data is a and three and then if, for example, we insert C and 10, the hash of C also map to the first block, then we traverse the list. And we put C10. So while current, um, if current dot data but what if we insert a5 we need to get the index using a hash function but what if we insert a5 we can use our hash function to get the a block of key A, and we already find the key. So we overwrite the value, we change it from zero to five. So key value is current dot data. So if key is the key, then we reset our data to key value and we can return it. So if current dot next is none, if we reach the end of the node, then we just break. Otherwise we move our pointer. So yes, this is our put. And let's implement our get function. We also need to get the current block. If the current block is none, we return negative one. Otherwise, we get the current block. And we, and we traverse the linked list to find the key. If we find the key, we, we return the value and we traverse the linked list to find the key. If we find the key, then we return the value. So key value is current dot data. If key is matched, then we just return the data. And we increment the current pointer. Otherwise, we just return negative one. We, we, we did not find it. So yes. And then for the removal, we also need to get the current block 
and if there's if there's no data, we just do nothing and return. Otherwise, we need to get the current block. Notice for the removal, we need to manage additional pointers. We need to create a dummy node. And we point the dummy node to the current pointer. And let's call this cur. And this is cur.next. So if this piece of data has a matched key, then we set the current pointer to the next node of the current pointer's next node. So we set the pointer to here. So let's call it dummy node is node zero. And we need to set dummy node dot next is current. And we, we need to use an additional pointer to point to the dummy node. If the key is equals to the key we're looking for, we do this, we do current.next is current.next.next. Dot next. And because in, the, in this case, current.next is A5 and current.next.net and current.next.next .next is this node. So we change, we, we change the pointer. And then we increment our next node. And in the end, the, this is our dummy pointer. We need to set the current block to dummy node.next. So in this case, we set it to here. Yes. Now let's run it. Okay, so let's run our code. It's passed, let's submit our code. Okay, we are done. So, okay, thank you for watching. If my solution helped you, please feel free to subscribe and leave a comment. Bye-bye.